from grade one. My school's name is Your Waxy Fall School. Today I am going to read a book. Its name is Munch. The alarm clocks went off ring ring. The ads Munch was enjoying a very nice dream about toast and coconut jam. Dragging himself out of bed, he went to the kitchen to have breakfast. He was just munching his way through his seventeen slices of toast with banana jam when something cut his eye in. The newspaper. Good grief! Exclaimed Munch out loud, dropping his toast on the floor. Maybe I should stay home and protect my house from being eaten. Munch sat up all day and all night, but no enormous monster came. The same evening, over eleven slices of toast with broccoli jam, Munch put on the television. The news was on, and something caught. His eye, the enormous monster that Munch had seen in the newspaper was on the television, gulping down trees and lampposts and buses and anything else. It. Could fit in its gigantic mouth. Jumping jam jars cried Munch out loud. I am definitely staying home. Munch sat up all night and all day, but no enormous monster came. The next morning, Munch went to make toast and jam as usual, but something wasn't quite right. Where is my television? Where is my fridge? They were definitely there yesterday. Then Munch noticed. The worst thing of all. Where is my toaster? He marched outside, slamming the door, and came face to face with the enormous monster. Oi! He shouted. You have eaten my jam. The enormous monster looked all around to see where the little voice was coming from. It saw Mons' angry face and started to laugh. And the more it laughed, the angrier. Mons became the enormous monster. Came closer and closer, licking its lip. It bent down, opened its mouth, and crunched. Mons swallowed him up instead. Pity he had no jam. Thank you.